RG's Brian Ditlake has been gathering details on this story. And Brian, what do you know? Uh, Stephanie, while we were at Los Toxicus off Summer Avenue earlier today, it looked as if it was dark. Cars were there, but the gate was locked. Residents tell me that was an unusual sight, especially for a Friday night, but say it is understandable considering the issues they've had. It's really the club, bro. When the club starts popping off Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you know, all of us back here, we, we, we get prepared. A Wesley Smith says he's had enough. Memphis police say earlier this month, three men fired shots toward Los Toxicas. According to officers, one man was kicked out the nightclub, two others followed behind the group, then getting into a silver Honda Civic. But as they were leaving, several shots were fired into the club. No one was hurt. You know, it's still getting worse right here the last couple of months. Smith lives in the motel behind Las Toxicas and says this isn't the first shooting he's heard of there. I've been here a year in this motel, and when I first got here, they didn't have no shootings. The last three months, but they had four or five shootings right here in this corner. According to Memphis Police's data hub, from January until today, police recorded over 80 incidents in the area from aggravated assault, robbery, shootings, and more. Smith says despite the stats, the club tries its best to curb crime. I don't have no problem with it, but a lot of people don't feel safe. But they, they do good. They, they got a security comes through there and everything, you know what I'm saying? The motel ain't bad. And now if you have any information about those three men, you're encouraged to call Crime Stoppers at 528-CATCH. But for now, we are live here in downtown Memphis. Brian Ditlake for your news leader, WREG, Channel 3. Hoping for quieter days and nights. Thank you, Brian.